Hey, James G here with Tarpley Music in Fort Worth, Texas. But remember, if you need to, you can always find us online at tarpleymusic.com. So today I've got a pointy guitar. I'm really excited about that. We haven't got to do a lot of cool uh, guitars like this, and so this is one of the first ones uh, that we get to do. And it's an AIM exclusive color. So AIM, of course, is the Alliance of Independent Music Merchants. And really cool color. Very excited about this. This is the Ibanez RG450DX. So the color code is CFM4, classic silver fade metallic. And it's really cool, man. I dig this color. Uh, it really popped when we took it out of the box. And uh, of course, your shark fin inlays here really pop. So uh, the body is Moranti, which is a really great wood. It's uh, It tends to have a scooped mid-range, according to uh, luthiers and stuff, when you, I've gone and researched a little bit. So it scoops that mid-range out a little bit, which is good when you got a heavy guitar, you want a lot of crunch and a lot of brilliance and to cut through things, so it makes sense. This is the Wizard 3. This is a maple neck. Of course, four bolts uh, there. And the radius is a 15.75, so just about 16. So really great flat surface for your crazy, wonderful shred guys, which I am not. Wish I was, but anyway, you can really shred on this because it's got a really nice uh, flat fretboard. Now the material is Jatoba. Um, and it's really said to have like a crisp mid-range and then real, uh, uh, like a rich mid-range and crisp high ends. It's kind of what they say, and I kind of get that. Yeah, definitely, especially because the body kind of scoops the mids out. Uh, anyway, shark inlay is just really cool. I've got to say it again. Uh, of course, this has the Floyd Rose tremolo system, so you can do heavy bombs. You can just completely loosen these strings out, um, and they can be tricky to work with Floyd Rose. Uh, but once you get them set, it's generally great. It's just getting kind of set. It does take some practice, but once you do, you can really... There's no other way to just do crazy Eddie Van Halen-style dive bombs with, uh, without one. So it is a 25.5 scale length, so it's very standard. The scale length is a measurement here from the nut to the, uh, the saddles down here. And uh, it is, a, of course, the double locking bridge. And these are jumbo frets. So really, once again, really great for your guys who are just sweeping and sliding all over the fretboard. So... The pickup, it's a little bit different than you would see maybe in like your Strat or, you know, something with Les Paul. You actually got a different kind of style combination here. You've got a humbucker in the neck, and then you've got a single coil in the middle, and then you have a humbucker in the bridge. Still have a five-way switch, but the pattern changes up a little bit. So you're sitting in this position, you're going to get good old neck humbucker. Second position here, you're getting this half in the in the middle here almost like so two single coils like a neck and middle single coils in the middle you get the middle then here you get the middle and the bridge coiled that way and then of course all the way here you get your really bitey bright uh humbucker uh bridge sound so we're going to go through all of these settings and i'm just going to do like a real basic clean tone and then we'll go and put some overdrive so you can hear some crunching and you can see that uh, with this pickup combination there's a lot of flavors here to be had
so if you're wondering, can I get those really crazy Steve Vai kind of screamy tones? Yes, I'm not real, real good at this, but you definitely can out of this thing. So I'm sitting in the bridge position. <laughs> So they're there. You can definitely do it. All right, so we've heard some basic clean and overdriven tones on this. I want to hear what those would sound like in a mix I did earlier with some other instruments. All right, hit it, boys. <laughs> Ibanez RG450 DX. First of all, uh, this is a lot of guitar for the money. That is definitely one thing I will say about it. Um, and I'm kind of new to learning a lot more of kind of a faster guitar style playing because I've always been kind of a, a strat telly humbucker kind of just a simple dude playing a lot of those styles. But I've really, really started working on uh, that style of playing. And so you got to have something like this with the flatter fretboard uh, like this. And so I've really enjoyed um, playing this and it's really, really comfortable. Um, and once I, you know, you, you're going to fight with the float roars a little bit if you haven't done it much, but once you do, you can get to where you unlock and it just anything else, it, it takes practice. So a lot of people see them and just kind of, kind of freeze, but don't, it's really, and you can always bring it up to tarp league video of that is we can walk you through how to do it or we can, uh, do it for you in a sense, but it's really, really important to learn. Uh, the color is great. The color really, really, I just love it. It really, really, has got a great glitter to it. I don't know if it's if you can really tell um, on this, but it's just great. Uh, now there, these are jumbo frets, so I'm used to really digging in, and so it's probably some things. If I was pulling it sharp, is because I was really pushing. You don't have to, man. These jumbo frets are made just to glide over like that, and uh, and that's not a negative thing at all. I'm just showing kind of a difference of of what I'm used to. So yeah, not you know, well this guitar plays different. Yeah, I mean it comes down to frets, it comes down to wood, it comes down to the width, it comes down to the radius. There's all these factors, right? Um, but if you're wanting to learn a lot of that kind of style, um, if you're a Steve Vai guy or even a old Eddie Van Van Halen and that kind of stuff, you you want to get a guitar like this, man, because you can get all the chunky sounds out of it, you get the crazy squeals out of it, you can get the speed out of it. Um, so this is definitely one to look at. Um, but of course, I can't explain how it feels. You got to come down here, pick up the wall, and you pick it up and play it, um, and then you know ask us. There's plenty of amps and stuff. We can pl plug you into anything from clean to ridiculously stupid overdriven. We've got it all down here, so you should come down and uh, check it out. So I hope you're excited about the this uh, color as I am. Uh, the RG series in general are just, they're really great Ibanez guitars for the money. I think they really have cornered that in a certain price point. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, you need to hit like, because that tells us you liked it, and that really helps. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit subscribe, become part of our family. And uh, if you'd like to know as we're dropping more videos, we can let you know, because uh, we do it every week. So you can just turn on notifications down there, and we will see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.